Okay, uh, it is time that I've made some more documentation on um, on my kits and motor brackets. Um, I appreciate Pablo making his assembly kit. Uh, he did a very good job. Uh, I just noticed a few things as far as uh, some of the things that I just took for granted um, and I should not have. Um, one, do reference the illustration uh, that I do include. Um, you'll notice, and here's one of the things, I wasn't sure what to do about this, but I made this M38 optional. Um, and, and I'll explain why here in a bit, because mainly because it's pretty much not being used. I included it because uh, because it had a machine slot, I thought, well, if somebody smarter than me can figure out this puzzle of how to use that, then I'll just keep including it. But M38 is optional. This screw that goes into the motor, the stepper motor, these are the four screws for the stepper motor. And uh, this one is blind. You cannot hit it when you put the motor onto the, the bracket. So the motor's only being held on with three screws. Um, if you can figure out how to get M38 in there, more power to you. Um, the only way I can think is loosely putting in there and putting some thread locker on it um, so that the, 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 the bolt would be uh, fastened by just thread locker. So to me, it's not worth it. Um, so I apologize to everybody if, if that was not Clear, so that's why we're making up this this this, this uh, follow-up video. You'll see this is this is a, a, a mock-up I made um, of the motor bracket, this black piece here. So because it's rainy, it's Ohio, and it is cold out, I'm not doing this outside in the weather. Uh, so I made a, a simple mock-up of the arm that comes out of the bracket, and this is. That's what that represents. So you'll see this screw is is barely accessible. The bracket on the on the CGE Pro covers up half of that. That's why I'm using these special flat, not these, but this flat screws um, because of the clearance that they give. So you'll also see that. A lot of times you can't, if, if the motor's in there, you'll have a hard time unscrewing it because it's going to hit up against this. So you got to take these screws out first. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to disassemble and then I'll reassemble. Okay. So these two screws on the outside are the M314s. Um, this screw blind or not blind, but partially visible, is an M38. And you just loosen that one up, and your motor, motor is able to come out. You will see also that this bolt is made to be flush so that your motor can slide back and forth in this slot. So there's a lot of little uh, things that I guess I didn't um, um, appreciate when I actually released um, this, some of these kits. Um, so what I usually do is I start just like this. When I go and put this, when I go to put this on the mount, I go ahead and put it just like this. So the mount is sitting here. I'll put the, um, these are M314s. Uh, and this is an M312. Um, reason being is because that's countersunk. It needs to be a little bit shorter, but you don't want it so long that it's going to interfere with the belts that are going to be out here. So all of these nuts and bolts are very specific, so please reference the diagram. Um, so that is how I attach it. I, I Step one, I attach the bracket to the mount. I put the M38 into the bracket. So, because you won't be able to get it in there otherwise. You have to put that in there, and now it's just floating back there. Okay? It can't fall out. On my test mock up, it can a little bit, but on a real mount, it doesn't. This is how you start. So, you put in your three 
bolts and locking nuts and that attaches to the mount. Now you want to come in with your motor and go ahead and you can if you hit this one you just lightly tighten this one into the motor okay so I got that threaded I'm gonna back it off a little bit the motor is now adjustable all right so let's put in our M314s Okay, so this is how I envisioned the motor being attached. Attach the bracket to the mount first, attach the motor to the bracket. Put that screw in first because you won't be able to get that screw in behind the bracket. And this is all uh, adjustable that you can put tension on the belt. Um, the tension of the belt do not put too much tension. You do not want to put force up against this axle or the worm gear. Uh, you just, you know, let the belt do the work. You just put some tension on it. You know, it's not guitar string tight. It's, I've run it pretty darn loose. Um, play with it a little bit, see what you think. But that are, that this is some notes on how I envisioned attaching the bracket. So I just want to make a follow-up video uh, with some more information.